I bought this uh, USB power bank out of Pound Stretcher today because I was kind of intrigued by the fact that, well, A, it's cheap, B, it says 2,400 milliamp power, and to be honest, I'd normally expect something, you know, rated at that output to be, or that capacity, should I say, to be this size, just a single cell. But it looks like a double cell one. And it makes me wonder, have they just used a single cell in here in a big box? Actually, it feels quite heavy. Uh, oh, and it says X2 lithium ion batteries. Well, uh, let's try it out first before I do anything. Yep, seems to be working okay. Let's uh, pop the lid and take a wee look inside. See if I can do this without uh, chaffing the plastic up. Ah, oh, that looks fairly loose-ish. Oh. Okay, so it's got two lithium cells. And it looks like just one of the little circuit boards they'd normally use in a single, um, you know, one of these single banks, like this one. Uh, are they glued in? No, they're loose. I'm going to be able to hike that out, I wonder. Oh, that's very modular. Okay. Interestingly, I'm not seeing the single 8-pin chip type solution that's so common. I'm seeing a, a combination here. I'm seeing the... I've got three 6-pin chips here, and that would almost suggest we've got the... maybe the charge and discharge protection? I'll have to put that to the test. But it looks okay. It looks like a fairly typical uh, little USB power bank, but with two lower capacity cells. Maybe the whole point is that by using this sort of 1-amp power type cells, they've just it's made it cheaper for them. I like the construction of this, actually. Let's see how easy it is to put back in. Oop, quite footry to put back in. Oh, I'm way, way out of position here. Yeah, not that easy to put back in. I think it's just because my alignment is wrong here. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's, it's decent enough, actually. It's very hackable. It's, you know, you could easily swap it in for bigger cells. I'm, I'm going to do a wee test on this and see just how good it is to see what its quiescent current is and um, the, you know, its shutoff voltages, but I can't really test that right now because I'm away from my usual workshop, which is a bit disappointing. But, uh, I shall test that in due course. Uh, and I like the this fact that uh, everything seems to be well pushed in. The, these must be the circuit board supports that lock it in, and the battery supports as well. And the little light guide for the LEDs, the usual sort of LEDs. Guessing they just... Yeah, just the usual little uh, charge and discharge LEDs. It's just a very common power bank, just with two lower capacity cells in it. Interesting. Neat enough. <laughs> 